Hey guys and gals, what's crack a lack and spicy here? Welcome to my channel, welcome to another video. Hey, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, go down, there's a little button that says subscribe. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other videos that I have going on. I have a great channel going on and I think you will really enjoy it. Out here today, we're going to do a bit, little bit of barbecuing. Uh, what am I barbecuing, you say? Well, obviously, you already know because you're here because of the thumbnail. Uh, we have some squirrels that I've, uh, I've killed over a couple weeks. And we're going to put those on the grill and cook them up. Now, I've been trying to work on a, on a squirrel, like, hunt and cook video. But, man, these squirrels, they are just, they're ridiculously fast. Uh, right now, squirrels are all mainly on the ground. So, when I'm walking through the woods... Uh, I just see one run across the run across the uh, the wood bottom there, and I'm just like, well, dang, I don't, I don't have time to pull out the camera, turn it on, get it set up. I just have to throw up my my 22, and and as soon as it stops, I pop it, and it's, and we're good to go. So the the squirrel the squirrel video just really hasn't worked out too well, but that's all well and good. Me and my brother-in-law, we've been hunting several days, and all the get all together, I think we've got probably about let's see, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, nine squirrels uh, here today. I'm cooking up three squirrels because it's just me eating and I'm not going to just cook all of them up I'll save the rest of them for later What we're going to be doing is just simply a simple barbecue. I love cooking squirrel on the grill uh, Low and slow That'll get it kind of tendered up a little bit You don't want to cook squirrel too quick because then the meat will just be really really tough But to season this up with uh, I'll be using this for the very first time but I've seen awesome reviews on it and that is Everglades cactus dust uh, this is a barbecue rub and oh man it has a oh it has a great like a smoky uh, mesquite flavored barbecue smell to it well and as, as a matter of fact mesquite flavored <laughs> so I know I love mesquite when I'm barbecuing when I'm smoking I use mesquite wood to smoke with uh, so this I think this is gonna be freaking awesome So let me point you down and I'll show you how we're gonna prepare these squirrels up All right, what we have here is just a tub of water uh, warm, Kind of warm water uh, Kind of defrost them and also I can clean them off a little bit. I, I cleaned them before I put them in the freezer but uh, This way I can really look at it make sure I get all the hairs off of it and stuff like that and then I have me a little metal pan here that we'll put them in to season them up with so that's all i'm going to do and whenever i whenever i clean squirrels uh the only thing i that i keep is the back legs and the back i usually get a front shoulder shot on a squirrel and it just tears up the front shoulder so there's no point of me cleaning out the front shoulder so this is all that i get kind of ends up looking like a frog leg <laughs> And that's the last piece. Now, a squirrel does not have, it's very lean. Um, don't have much fat on it whatsoever. So, it's just basically all meat and bone. Can't go too wrong with that. All right, so now we're gonna, we're gonna season these up. And like I said, I got the, the Everglades cactus dust. And I'm gonna sprinkle that cactus dust, a good generous amount in there. And then I'll take these squirrels and I'll roll them around in that pan to make sure everything gets coated and we'll be good to go. I'll show you what they look like in just a second. All right, so here, the, here it is. It is nice and coated. This will make an excellent rub for like a pork or some ribs. Just look how, look how coated that is. And I didn't pour my water out of my bucket. I shouldn't have done that because I could have washed my hands off. <laughs> So let me uh, get my hands washed off and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my, my barbecue pit all fired up and ready to go. We are sitting at 300 degrees. Uh, to me, that's perfect right now as a starting cook. Uh, that'll get, the, get it heated up and all that. And then later as the coals burn down, the heat will burn down slowly. If it gets under 200 degrees, I'll add some more coal, uh, charcoal to the little coal pile. But let me open it up. And I'm gonna bring you over and show you how I'm cooking. I, when I do this, I do kind of an offset cook, which means I have my fire over here. And I'll put my meat on this side, 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the meat on there now, so it can be. Look, man, that looks amazing. So I'm just gonna lay it over there, and I'm gonna open it up. I'll bring you over and show you the the setup that I got as far as the cooking part. All right, so as you can see, I have my coals on this side, my charcoal, and then no, no fire on this side. But the three squirrels here is what I have cooking. So th this is my cook up whenever I kind of slow cook something. Uh, to me, this works perfect. So we'll close her up and let her cook. And that, that temperature will sl slowly go up to about 300 degrees. So it's Everglades, Everglades cactus dust. Let's see what's in it. Uh, ingredients, salt, spices, onion and garlic powder, sugar, autolyzed yeast, and natural mesquite flavoring, secret citric acid, extract of paprika, cornstarch, and caramel powder. You can't go wrong with stuff that you can pronounce and know what's in your seasonings. Uh, Y'all go check out Everglades Cactus Dust, or not just the Cactus Dust, Everglades Company themselves. I'll leave a link down in the description below. I found this out by watching Deer Meat for Dinner, and that's a great channel. He swears by the stuff, so I got some, and I've actually done some cooking with the Everglades All-Purpose Seasoning, and the, well, that's it, just the All-Purpose Seasoning. And I've done a little bit of the, the Everglades heat. Uh, it's not too bad as far as the heat. I don't think I've done a video on the heat part. But I've done a video on the all-purpose seasoning. I cooked up some uh, pork chops. Um, I'll leave a link down to that uh, video in the description below if you want to go watch it. Ain't no big deal. Uh, it turned out really good. And since we're on the topic of channels that I like, if you notice, check out this freaking t-shirt. Big old bass on it says Biggin. Colin J at the bottom. That's the key words. Colin J, their channel is amazing. I've been watching them for quite some time now. I love their videos. Uh, Colin J, just their their chemistry on camera and together, they just they have a ball. Uh, go check them out. Again, a link to their channel will be at the very top of the description, uh, right below the main description but go check them out i like i said i love their channel and i think you would love them too this is one of their newest shirts that they just come out with this one says biggin and they got two other designs but two great amazing outdoor people they they do fishing bass fishing white perch fishing uh just they go out and catch whatever they want to catch and then you know during the the spring and fall and stuff like that they go out and catch snakes freaking crazy out in the middle of the night catching water moccasins and 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 water snakes it's just y'all 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 would y'all would really enjoy it but go check them out and if you do let them know that spicy from backwoods race sent you kind of give them a little shout out there it is 4 46 i am starting to run out of daylight out here oh what we're gonna do is it's been about 30 minutes we're gonna flip these over one time i'm gonna show you what they look like and i'll finish the process uh, off camera like i said i'm gonna come out here another 30 minutes flip them again um and then i'll do that until i i think that the meat's cooked well enough so let me point you down and see what we got going on oh yeah look at that right there let's see oh yep it's hot don't touch it Alrighty, yep, those are looking mighty fine. And the reason why I flip them over, because I know I'm not I'm not cooking on direct heat, but the reason why I flip it over is so the juices and everything kind of soaks down, and I'll flip them again, the juices will soak down. To me, it just I think it won't be as dry it, when I come out here and flip it, you know, multiple times during cookings. But still, they're offset from the heat. And we're going to close it up and let those cook out some more. And I'll be back when this gets done cooking. Alright, so they are done. Let me point you down. The last 30 minutes of me cooking squirrel, I did uh, wrap them up in tinfoil and let them cook on in the tinfoil. Oh yeah. Check that out right there. Looks like some goodness. Alrighty, now it's time for the old taste test. 
and just look at them. Man, they, they cook great. They got an awesome color to it. That everybody's cactus does. I really like the color that it puts on, on meat. So, and let's see what it's all about. Mmm, mmm, yeah. Mm, got a little heat to the cactus dust, but great flavor. Um, the squirrel is not tough at all, so it really tendered it up. And I think me putting it in the temple was it really helped tender it up a little bit more. And if I had to say it tastes like something, I would say it tastes like pork. Major, do you want to bite? Um, no. <laughs> she said, um, no. <laughs> I'm the only one eating squirrel. Whew, all right, so I just finished them off. So uh, I was going to talk more about it, but I kept eating and kept eating, and then the video ended up turning off. <laughs> so uh, that was it. I really, I really enjoy cooking them on the grill. I don't really like cooking them like in gravy and stuff like that because to me, um, Unless you really take your time and cook them right to make them, make sure that they're not tough, it really you know there's no point in cooking and engraving stuff. So cooking on the grill is my best way. I really I really enjoyed that cactus dust. Like I said, it had a little bit more heat than what I thought it was going to have. I wasn't expecting that, but the flavor was amazing. So. That's my little squirrel cooking. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, hey, give this thing a thumbs up because those things are awesome and they help my channel out. And I will see y'all in the next adventure here on my channel. Until then, remember, everybody's got a little backwoods in them. I'll catch you later.